I the only one that didn't know how learning truly shapes us? Learning shapes who we are. It's a change in behavior from experience. Every skill, in fact, is a product of learning. It's how we adapt, survive, and thrive. Learning implies lasting modification. It modifies neural pathways lasting a lifetime. We learn by doing, observing, and interacting. Our brains find patterns and make connections. It's a dialogue between organism and environment. Ultimately, learning is about adaptation. Imagine a laboratory in early 20th century Russia. Ivan Pavlov notices his dog salivate at the sight of the lab assistant, not just food. This observation sparked a revolution classical conditioning. Pavlov realized the dogs associated neutral signals with food. A bell, initially neutral, became a conditioned stimulus. After pairings, the bell alone elicited salivation. This experiment unveiled a learning mechanism across species. Classical conditioning echoes in our daily lives. While Pavlov explored learning through association, another giant emerged, B.F. Skinner. He delved into operant conditioning, where behavior is controlled by its consequences. An organism operates on its environment, and its actions produce outcomes. These outcomes determine if the organism is more or less likely to repeat that action. Skinner built upon Edward Thorndike's law of effect. This law stated that behaviors followed by favorable consequences become more likely. Behaviors followed by unfavorable consequences become less likely. Skinner introduced reinforcement and punishment. Reinforcement strengthens the behavior it follows. Positive reinforcement involves adding a desirable stimulus. A child cleans their room and receives praise, increasing the likelihood of cleaning again. Negative reinforcement involves removing an aversive stimulus. You take an aspirin to relieve a headache, reinforcing the act of taking aspirin. Punishment decreases the behavior it follows. Positive punishment involves adding an aversive stimulus. A student texts in class and gets a scolding, aiming to decrease texting. Negative punishment involves removing a desirable stimulus. A teenager breaks curfew and loses phone privileges, aiming to decrease curfew violations. Skinner's experiments often involved a Skinner box. A rat might press a lever, and if followed by a food pellet, the rat would press the lever more often. If followed by a mild electric shock, lever pressing would decrease. These controlled experiments demonstrated the power of consequences in shaping behavior. From training pets to managing classrooms, the principles of operant conditioning are widely applied. Operant conditioning explains how complex behaviors are learned. One key concept is shaping. Imagine teaching a dolphin to jump through a hoop. You use shaping, reinforcing successive approximations. Reinforcement doesn't always happen every time a behavior occurs. Skinner explored different patterns of reinforcement called reinforcement schedules. Variable ratio schedules provide reinforcement after an unpredictable number of responses, like gambling. Understanding these schedules helps us see why some behaviors are persistent. Shaping and reinforcement schedules explain how complex behaviors are learned and maintained. The shadow of punishment, navigating its use. Punishment aims to decrease a behavior but has significant drawbacks. Punished behavior is suppressed, not forgotten, and may return when the threat of punishment is gone. Punishment can teach fear, damaging relationships, and creating anxiety. It teaches avoidance rather than guiding towards desirable actions. Physical punishment can model aggression, teaching the behavior it aims to stop. Punishment can create resentment and a desire for retaliation. Experts emphasize the power of positive reinforcement. Catching someone doing something good and rewarding it is more effective in the long run. If punishment is used, it should be swift, consistent, and directly related to the misbehavior. It should be paired with an explanation of why the behavior was wrong and what alternative behavior is expected. Most importantly, it should be used sparingly. The cosmos of behavior is better navigated with guidance and encouragement than with fear and suppression. Positive reinforcement builds positive associations and teaches desired behaviors. It fosters cooperation and understanding, creating a more positive environment. Navigating the use of punishment requires careful consideration and a focus on positive reinforcement. Beyond reflexes, the dawn of cognitive learning. Behaviorism focused on observable actions and external stimuli, but cognitive learning theories acknowledge the role of mental processes. Learning isn't just about stimulus-response connections, it's also about understanding. Edward Tolman's experiments with rats in mazes showed that rats developed cognitive maps, 
forming a mental representation of the maze's layout. This phenomenon, called latent learning, showed that learning can occur without obvious reinforcement. Wolfgang Kohler observed insight learning in chimpanzees where they had aha moments, solving problems through a sudden reorganization of mental elements. Cognitive learning also encompasses intrinsic and extrinsic motivation. Intrinsic motivation is the desire to perform a behavior for its own sake, while extrinsic motivation is driven by rewards or avoiding punishment. Understanding these internal cognitive processes provides a richer picture of how we learn. We are not just passive responders to our environment, we are active thinkers, problem solvers, and meaning makers. Cognitive learning theories acknowledge the importance of thoughts, perceptions, and expectations in the learning process. They show that learning involves more than just external stimuli and responses. Cognitive learning theories provide a deeper understanding of how we acquire knowledge and skills. They highlight the role of mental processes in learning and adaptation. Cognitive learning theories offer a more comprehensive view of the learning process. They emphasize the importance of understanding and mental representation in learning. Cognitive learning theories enrich our understanding of the complex nature of learning. I bet you didn't know that we can learn by observing others, a concept demonstrated by Albert Bandura. His research highlighted the importance of social models in the learning process. Bandura's Bobo doll experiment showed that children imitated aggressive behavior they observed in adults. This experiment demonstrated that learning can occur without direct reinforcement. It highlighted the power of models, showing that behavior we display can influence others. For observational learning to occur, several cognitive processes must be at play. Attention, retention, reproduction, and motivation. Observational learning explains a vast array of human behaviors, from learning social customs to acquiring fears or altruistic tendencies. It allows for the rapid transmission of knowledge and behaviors across individuals and generations. Observational learning is a cornerstone of human culture and development. It shows how we learn from the experiences of others. Observational learning emphasizes the importance of social models in shaping behavior. It highlights the role of cognitive processes in learning from observation. Observational learning provides a deeper understanding of how we acquire knowledge and behaviors. It underscores the significance of social influences in the learning process. The brain's empathy engine mirror neurons. Mirror neurons fire when an animal acts and when it observes the same action performed by another. This discovery opened a new window into the neural basis of social understanding and imitation. Mirror neurons are thought to be crucial for imitation and understanding the intentions and emotions of others. They form a basis for empathy, allowing us to understand others' feelings and intentions. Mirror neurons play a role in social connection and understanding. They help us understand the actions and emotions of others. Mirror neurons provide insight into the neural mechanisms of social learning and empathy. Learning the Cosmic Key to Adaptation and Growth Understanding the multifaceted nature of learning is essential for navigating our daily lives. From classical conditioning to operant conditioning and cognitive and observational learning, these principles shape our interactions. Recognizing these forces empowers us to understand ourselves and others on a deeper level. In education, teachers use principles of reinforcement and modeling to encourage student participation and demonstrate problem-solving skills. In therapy, understanding classical conditioning helps treat phobias, and operant principles are used in behavior modification programs. Parents can use positive reinforcement to guide their children's behavior more effectively. The reach of learning principles extends into every facet of human endeavor. The journey through the psychology of learning reveals our remarkable capacity for change. We are dynamic, constantly evolving through our experiences. Learning is the engine of progress, both for individuals and for our species as a whole. The study of learning is a study of potential. By grasping how learning works, we can become more effective learners. We can break unwanted habits and cultivate beneficial ones. We can foster empathy and understanding in our communities. We can approach challenges with the knowledge that new skills and solutions can be acquired. Learning is the cosmic key that unlocks our ability to adapt, grow, and navigate the universe of experience. If this chapter helped you understand how learning works, from classical to cognitive, be sure to like this video and subscribe to ChapterCast for weekly study breakdowns. Whether you're walking, studying, or driving, ChapterCast makes your study time easier. Comment your next chapter request below and share this with a fellow psychology student. 
This is ChapterCast. Listen, learn, retain. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into the fascinating world of psychology.